how to safely use a Bunsen burner. Always make sure you're wearing the correct safety gear, which also gets called personal protective equipment or PPE. This includes your safety glasses or lab goggles, your lab coat, gloves, but only when your teacher tells you to because some glove types are flammable near a Bunsen burner. And of course, closed toe shoes. Make sure your lab coat's actually done up. It's there to protect you and your clothes. It's not a fashion statement. Put up long hair. Yes, fellas included. Check that your lab equipment is in safe working order before you start. This means checking Bunsen burner hoses for any cracks and checking glassware for chips or cracks. Only mix or heat materials as instructed to avoid any unwanted reactions or consequences. Keep materials away from and pointed away from your face at all times and everybody else's for that matter. Don't play with the gas taps. Duh. Before you light your Bunsen burner, make sure the air hole at the bottom of the barrel is closed. This will produce what's called the safety flame, which is orange and easy to see. It's often a good idea to make sure you've lit the match or the fire starter before you turn the gas tap on. This stops the gas from unnecessarily building up and getting dangerous. You might like to have two people do this as a team. Be careful with how you extinguish your match. If you blow it out, you could accidentally blow out the Bunsen burner as well. Face away from the Bunsen burner or just flick the match to extinguish it. If the Bunsen burner does go out for any reason, turn off the gas tap immediately. When you've put out your match, put it on the heat proof mat under your Bunsen burner. Don't put it on the bench or straight into the bin. To produce the working flame with your Bunsen burner, open the air hole at the bottom of the barrel. This is called a working flame, and the flame we usually use to heat things in the lab. It should appear blue in colour. The working flame is hotter than the orange safety flame. Which makes sense. We know that fire needs oxygen to burn. Opening the air hole lets in more oxygen, which allows the flame to burn hotter. While the working flame can appear smaller than the safety flame, the area above the flame gets extremely hot, so it's really important not to put your hand or anything else above the Bunsen burner. A good habit to get into is to close the air hole again, so you switch from working flame to safety flame before turning the Bunsen burner off at the gas tap. Before putting your equipment away, make sure it is cooled down enough for you to safely touch and put away. While you wait for things to cool down, it's a great time to check your results are complete and start writing your discussion section. Enjoy your time in the lab! Until next time, stay awesome!